1-800-273-2703. In the studio, I have Vicky Morrow, president and CEO of the National Black Arts Festival. They're celebrating 30 years. Yes, we are excited. It's a wonderful year. <laughs> 30 is a good year. It is. We, um, the, the National Black Arts Festival, as well as Hammond's House, is celebrating 30 years. So art was a big deal 30 years ago to be focused on um, the African diaspora. So we're really excited to be enjoying this celebration. There's a focus this year on visual arts. Absolutely. Let's talk about that. So I have to stop and, and say that when the organization was started 30 years ago, it was pre-recession. I know we've mm. moved away from that some, but we are about half the size, um, our budget size is about half of what it was back then when we were throwing the big outdoor festivals. So what we determined as an organization since the recession is that we need to, in order to do a good job, we have to focus on essentially a discipline a year. And in the last five years, we launched that five years ago, we haven't celebrated visual arts until now, our 30th anniversary year. I'm excited about this because I think this is where the National Black Arts Festival had its biggest impact. Um, people know us for the outdoor performances and that gave us a great feel around culture, but m most people you talk about, talk to about the National Black Arts Festival, they remember going and buying some piece of art and bringing it home. And so I am so thrilled that this year we're focused on visual arts and we've recognized two artists this year. We will be um, recognizing Ratcliffe Bailey um, in, wow. at our gala in, on July 14th and we recognized Bahamo Peco earlier this year. So lots of visual artists coming to the forefront and uh, I've got lots of help to make sure that they are showcased through this entire year. If someone has artwork and they would like to submit it for display and possible purchase, yeah. how can they do that? So we have a couple different uh, opportunities this year. One is our gala, which is on July 14th, our 30th anniversary gala celebration. And that's always, always includes an auction. Okay. And that auction includes phenomenal work from many visual artists, not only here locally, but around the country. And we also, on September 15th and 16th, at the Westside Cultural Arts Center this year, are highlighting both established as well as emerging visual artists for a weekend event. And so they need to contact our office. Uh, our website is mbaf.org and uh, reach out through our website so that we can determine if they have a piece of artwork that can be showcased at either one of those two events. That is N as in Nancy, B as in boy, AF dot O-R-G. NBAF.org. No, one of the things uh, that we're trying to do in this 30th anniversary year is make a pivot and start okay. to reimagine how do we continue to support the next generation of artists. Uh, we will always focus on our established artists because our audiences love to see artists that they already know and are, have been exposed to, but we want to make sure that we're doing what we need to to follow our mission and make sure we're reaching back to the next generation of artists. So we have some school-based programs at National Black Arts Festival where we focus on middle school and high school programs at a few schools in the Atlanta public school system. And we're gonna work on some additional programs to work out, to reach out to other emerging artists. So stay tuned and you'll be seeing more of that towards the end of this year. Now, how much our artists have to make money. Right. They have to make a living. We don't want to support artists as far as making sure that they stay starving artists. We want them to have a full, uh, lucrative profession. And so yes. with that right. said, once on again, nbaf.org, you can go to that website. Uh, what are the events, the other events happening this year? So in this 30th anniversary celebration, we kick it off with a, with a gala, July 14th um, at Flourish Atlanta. Ticket price, they How start much? at $500. You have a wonderful night mm -hmm. hanging out with 
Atlanta's finest people, a phenomenal party supporting our local artists. Right. And that is what I want to emphasize. People right. really do need to support our local artists. Uh, they get better support if they go to New York, Miami, or yeah, Charlotte. Agreed. We've got to stop that. Atlanta is, you know, we've got too many people here that can support. After the gala, the next event is the uh, uh, September 15th and 16th event, the gallery, Westside uh, Cultural Arts Center. And then after that, we've got a fun event called Second Line on the Belt Line, September 29th. We're going to break out a uh, second line celebration on the west side near the um, Kroger. Okay. So the west side of that belt line and party all day and sort of celebrate. And then last but not least, we've got a historical look back at the Chastain Park Gallery. Uh, that's, this exhibit will take place September 22nd through October 12th, and it'll be looking back on the 30 years of NBAF. I think this is so remarkable, and uh, the $500 ticket, that's not too steep for many people, and I would definitely make my ticket purchase. I'm so glad you'll be joining us. I absolutely shot. will. <laughs> I will be joining you guys. I think it's important you continue to highlight the arts, especially from our perspective. Absolutely. And this is something that needs to live on, and this is one of those opportunities where the whole family can benefit. Absolutely. And we rarely have this type of education and entertainment that's black yes. in one place, and I want to support it. So all of those who are listening, I'm asking you to do a personal favor for me. Go to nbaf.org, N as in Nancy, B as in boy, AF dot O-R-G. They can make their purchases there and yes. also submit yes. if you are Well, thank you for this opportunity. We well, are excited you. to celebrate our 30th anniversary and looking forward to the next 30 years. Very well said. Thank you, Vicki. 404?